What's up, guys? And welcome to Dancing with Tech. I'm back better than ever and with some great information to share with you. Today, we're going to be talking about NFTs. What in the world are NFTs? Well, NFTs are non-fungible tokens that can earn you thousands. No, 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 no billions of dollars and it's one of crypto's industry fastest growing asset and this video will introduce you to some of the uses of entities like explain how to buy and trail and also speculate on how they could be used in the future without further ado let's get right into it Let me explain the differences between fungible and non-fungible assets. Fungible assets is something having easily interchangeable units such as money. With money, you may exchange a $10 bill for two $5 bills. And their value will be the same. Hey, that's my money. Guys, take my advice. Don't get married. Don't get slapped. However, if something is non-fungible, this is impossible. It has unique features that prevent it from being interchanged with anything else. It might be a home or a one-of-a-kind picture such as the Mona Lisa. You can photograph the artwork or purchase a print, but there will only ever be one original. And it's not this. So what are NFTs? Non-fungible tokens are non-transferable data units. They care identify information that distinguishes them from all other tokens because no two tokens are the same. They cannot be traded or exchanged at the same rate, nor they can be divided into smaller units like cash. Simply put, NFTs are one of a kind digital asset that may be purchased and sold like any other piece of property, but have no physical form of their own. Digital tokens can be viewed as certificates of ownership for either virtual or tangible goods. Now, how are these NFTs being used? Oh, well, before we talk, I need to switch my shirt out. Huh. Ah, blue. That's much better. Now, what was I saying? NFTs are being used because entities are one of a kind. They may be used to value and verify digital access, such as virtual land particles, artworks, and so on. The entertainment business is one of the most important industries for NFTs. For example, in art and crypto art is classified into two kinds. The word mostly refers to crypto themed works that incorporate blockchain into its cultural, political, economic, or abstract themes. Crypto art, on the other hand, may be interpreted to mean digital artworks that are released directly to the blockchain as NFT. Beeples and Ferocious are two of the most prominent crypto artists right now. Crystal sale of an entity by digital artist, people sold for $90 million. <laughs> That's set a new record in a digital art. I mean, it's totally insane, right? Gosh, $69 million. Bro, give me 10% of that money, man. Like, come on, hook a brother up. Well, you're probably thinking, what's stopping people from copying the digital art? Honestly, nothing. Beeple's pan, which is sold for $69 million, has been seen by millions and millions of people, and the image has been reproduced and shared countless times. In many circumstances, the artists retain copyright ownership of their work, allowing them to continue producing and selling copies. The buyer of the NFT, on the other hand, owns a token that indicates they possess the original piece. Some equate it to purchasing an autograph print. I mean, that makes pretty sense. So if you really want to dive into the world of NFTs, you might either want to start an NFT auction 
or purchase one yourself. If you want to obtain a piece of this multi-billion dollar business, you should start it with Ethereum. Other protocols for establishing your own NFTs exist ZQ, Tron, Flow, and Cosmos. But Ethereum is where the big money is. Then join one of the specialized MT marketplaces such as Mintable, Super Rare, or OpenSea. You'll also need a wallet browser plugin such as MetaMask to register an account. To start a collection of any of these marketplaces, you may either transfer your NFTs from another platform such as Rarible, Mintable, or vice versa, or transfer your NFTs directly on the platform of your choice. After you made your collection, you'll need to describe the attribute of your NFT, including how many copies there are, then you may auction it off your NFT. Please keep in mind that you have to pay a patrol price to start and the cost of gas varies according on demand. In the turn, gas only refers to the fee or pricing value. Now, to avoid outrageous costs, begin bidding at off peak hours. So what are the future of NFTs? Many NFT applications are not centered on the entertainment sector and popular culture. We already seen how they can be marketed by sports teams, video games, film companies, and performers. They do, however, have the potential to completely change the realm of copyright, intellectual properties, and software licensing. MTs might be used to create certificates for a variety of purposes, including birth and death certificates. That's kind of weird, right? The information might be used to prove owner's identity. These records are significantly less likely to be lost if they are stored in a digital ledger. Ladies and gentlemen, man, it's been a pleasure walking with you through NFTs. Would you love to stay a little bit longer? But a brother gotta go. Also, if you're new to the channel, make sure you like and leave a comment. And of course, you gotta subscribe so you continue to get some more amazing content. Until next time, guys, I'll see you guys later.